Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Please excuse this mess right here. I'm actually in Vancouver. So I wanted to start off this vlog with my life update, but this vlog is actually, I originally filmed it in Toronto first because later you'll see me packing and getting on the plane but unfortunately that part of the clip for some reason the voice just does not match the video so i am just refilming now um in terms of the life update part i feel like this part needs to come first for everything else to make sense afterwards so anyway yeah please excuse if this doesn't really make sense or go along with the video since i'm already in vancouver right now but i did want to have like a little sit down life update because it has been a while and I feel like a couple things have changed so I just wanted to always be open and let you guys know what is happening. So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually I recently launched a email list and this is really exciting and also very important to me because I'm actually going to be sending out exclusive updates and there's also a secret instruction in there. If you message me the secret code I will add you to my close friends on Instagram. The instruction instructions will be in the welcome email so right after you register you will get the welcome email with the secret code and etc etc if you have already done so then you will already know what i'm about to talk about because i've already sent out my weekly newsletter and it has the little bit of update and i've also posted on my close friends so you guys really know what's up but i would say that the next few life updates i have a couple um the first one is and why I want to talk about it is because if you have been watching my vlogs, um, I just wanted to announce this not because I think that I need to talk about it or I owe it to anybody. I think it's just because I know you guys watch so I don't want you guys to be confused but basically Lucas and I are no longer together so if you don't see him in future vlogs or if you're wondering where he is, that is pretty much the sitch. If it looks like I I'm saying it really monotony. It's only because it's been a while, so I've had my time that I needed to process. So not because I have no emotion or anything, it's just because I already took the time to process and adjusted to this life change. Um, so I don't really wanna talk about the details, obviously, because it doesn't just involve me. This is really just an update to tell you that it happened, and that way it will explain you know vlogs moving forward and stuff like that the second update that i wanted to talk to you guys about is me coming to vancouver and you'll see once again in the later clips me preparing to go to vancouver one of the reasons why i'm here is just honestly because with quarantine and after the breakup i was living alone and i just felt really really lonely to be honest especially on the weekends i just feel like everyone you know is spending time with their families or big groups of friends and i feel like my friends are really scattered all over the place around the world or the country or even within Toronto a lot of them are in their hometowns they're not actually in downtown so I just feel like weekends are especially tough for me especially after the breakup I just felt like I was just always alone and honestly like social media doesn't help either because I'll look at stories and I'm like oh my god I'm literally alone um so anyway I decided to go back to Vancouver to be with my family and also my friends here and also if you guys didn't know Vancouver's rules are actually a lot more lax than Toronto so Vancouver's been like a few phases ahead of Toronto for a while now like here masks are not mandatory I will still be wearing them don't worry but there's also just a bunch of different things like you're able to eat in a restaurant you're able to hang out with your friends so I think this will be a very nice change for me because in Toronto obviously not just with the distance for between me and everybody but also the rules make it really hard to hang out with big groups of people anyway so that's kind of why I've decided to come back to Vancouver. I actually booked a one-way flight and not a return ticket because I'm not sure how much longer this COVID situation is going to be and my work doesn't really have any official plans of getting us to go back into the office. So as of now, I don't know when I will return back to Toronto, but I do think that I will probably go back in about a month or two because I realized that I didn't bring any winter stuff. The other update I wanted to see say is that in addition to all of this I just you guys know that I'm very transparent with my mental health journey and how I'm a strong advocate for 
aromatherapy, etc. So I do want to mention that these past few months, in addition to the breakup or whatever, I wasn't doing well. I'm actually a lot better now, but I would say that especially at the start of COVID, it was very hard for me because of all the things that were going on. It impacted me quite a bit as well as I'm sure it has impacted you. I have taken it really hard in the beginning and also with all the news going on with like BLM, etc, etc. I, if you guys remember from my Vancouver vlog and how I had the rash, it turned out to be highs. It was honestly just a result of stress. All of the things that were going on in the world and also in my personal life, I think I was extremely stressed and ultimately that led to depression and anxiety. Once again, I'm doing very, very well now, but when this was all happening I needed to take some time off so I, I took about two weeks off work and I'm starting back work again but that was pretty much I just wanted to kind of update you guys on that because um, to say that I am doing a lot better and I'm a lot happier but also if the past few months have impacted you in such a negative way like myself just know that you're not alone and therapy really helps me a lot and also I, I've been doing a bunch of other things like meditation and stuff like that so Anyway, I wanted to share that with you and be transparent. I actually got a DM the other day for someone who was like, how do you stay so positive and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, like it makes me happy to hear that because I am overall a positive person, but I think that for me, like I do still get impacted by a lot of things around me. So it's something that I'm really trying to work on. And just because whatever I show on social media, like I think this is my way of also telling you guys, don't believe everything you see, like everything you see that I've either vlogged or I've put on my Instagram as photos. These are all the good parts of my life. Like I do want to have these one-on-ones or more intimate conversations with you through my email list. Um, but also just saying that, you know, when, whenever people post things, and this isn't just me, but in general, I think a lot of people, what you see on Instagram really isn't everything. So just keep that in mind because even if you see me being super positive and stuff, I do have a lot of bad days. I had depression since March and stuff and only am just recovering. So just, yeah, like keep that in mind. Nobody's life is perfect and there's always things going on in the background. So that's pretty much um, the main updates that I would say. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about, I decided to add this portion in because I saw so many people ask for it. It on my stories but a few days ago I posted on my stories that I lost about 10 to 12 pounds and went down three sizes in my jeans. I used to be a size 26 and now I'm a size 23. So basically I've been intermittent fasting for a really long time now. Um, I would say for a couple of months. That and I guess a little bit of depression and um, all of that added together helped me lose weight, but it was definitely mostly the intermittent fasting. So if you guys don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's basically eating within an eight hour window and then fasting and not consuming anything with calories after that. For example, you can do like eat only between the hours of 12 to eight, etc., etc. You can pick your hours and for the rest of the day or for the rest of the time you do not eat. For me, I picked 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., which is actually very difficult because it was easy when we were in hardcore quarantine and you couldn't see anybody. But now that things are starting to go back up, it's been a little bit harder because whenever people want to meet up for dinner, I'm just like, I can't really eat. But I do want to keep it up because I've been doing it for a while and not only has it helped me in terms of losing the extra weight that I've gained from quarantine, but also for some reason, like as a side effect, it helped my entire, I guess, stomach or whatever system. I used to have a very weak stomach and I used to get stomach flu all the time. And now I'm actually wondering if it's either the intermittent fasting or the hours that I've chosen. Because before I did intermittent fasting, I would snack a lot, especially like after 9 p.m. I would pretty much just snack until um, there's like not really a deadline. I would snack and then go to bed or whatever. So I'm not sure which it is, but either way, the side effect of it is that my stomach health has improved a lot. At one point, I actually thought I might have IBS, but then before I got tested, I had already done intermittent fasting and it became so good that I didn't even need to get tested anymore. So once again, not sure if it's the time slot or of intermittent fasting, but if you guys are either trying to lose weight or maybe even improve stomach health, I would recommend it 
based on my personal experience. I'm not an expert, but this is just my personal experience. And the reason why I chose intermittent fasting is just because it helps me get focused a lot better during the hours that I'm not supposed to eat. And also because it made me snack less. I also have less cravings and I would rather give up the time that I eat rather than what I eat. Because I do intermittent fasting, I would say that I don't really watch you know, entirely what I eat. I still eat quite healthy-ish, but like if I wanted to eat chips or if I wanted to eat whatever I want, I'll just do it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. Once again, sorry that this is not filmed in chronological order. So I'm gonna get right into the vlog. And after this, you'll see that I'll be back in Toronto and then coming to Vancouver. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this quick life update. And if you guys haven't already, please sign up for my email list. You just go on my website and the immediate pop-up, you just sign up there. So I will give instructions for that. Guys, good morning. It is Thursday. So today I am officially packing for Vancouver. I am such a last minute packer. Like how early do you guys pack? Because for me, I always pack the night before and it's so bad, especially this time because I don't know how long I'll be in Vancouver for. So I'm really not even sure what to pack, but right now I'm just kind of here. I'll give you sort of an idea of what I'm packing. So I'm just doing my toiletries right now. I always have my toiletries bag and my makeup bag separately. So what that means is like I have my at home makeup kit and I also have my at home skincare but my travel skincare and my travel makeup is completely different and the only reason why I've done that is because over the years I've collected a lot of brushes so the ones that I use less frequently I'll use it as my travel brushes because back when I was going to Markham every single weekend I just felt like I would always have to pack the same things over again, like skincare and makeup, and I always forget. If I was kind of starting to run out on something, I'll go buy a new one at Sephora and like have the new one as like my home one, and then the one that's kind of running out will be my travel kit since I don't actually stay that often. But I highly recommend doing it because if you're someone who also either like goes on a lot of weekend trips or just traveling or something, or if you're very forgetful like me, it is actually very helpful. So right now, I'll just kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, it's kind of a mess, so let's just um, deal with it. Okay, usually I don't do this. If it's just a weekend trip, I just grab and go, but because, like I said, this is a much longer trip, so I have to make sure I have everything I want. The first thing I do is I take everything out. The important thing is I also need to make sure I refill my stuff. So earlier I was refilling my hair oil. This is not what the bottle says it is. It's actually um, a hair oil. So I was refilling that. I was refilling some of my contact solutions. So this is just like an opportunity for me to kind of like have an eye on what I have. Over here is so my makeup bag. This is my makeup bag. And once again, I'm just kind of like packing everything. So I'll sort of take you guys along with me. I'm just gonna go through my mini skincare so you guys know. Like I said, since this is a bigger trip, I personally like it when the stuff is like completely full, which is why I'm pulling out the new Caudalie travel kit. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually did a giveaway for these four products and you would have gotten this entire kit. Some of my other travel stuff, it was already halfway done. So that's why I'm switching it for the full ones just because I just need to make sure everything is packed and ready to go. I even refilled my medication. This is the lip balm I always use. I have the Dermalogica travel size daily micro exfoliant. Also, this is like some are combinations of things I collected from Sephora points um, and that's why I use it for travel. It's honestly so hard for me to do makeup and skincare because you guys know that I have a lot of makeup. Not just a lot of makeup, but I like to try different things. That's the thing. Every day I use like different types of foundation. So I just feel like on this trip, it's so hard because I have to narrow it down and really pick my favorites or at least things that I feel like would be suitable. Sometimes I'll have something that is very suitable, but let's just say it's like almost running out. Then I can't pick it because I don't want to run out in the middle of my trip. I'll show you guys my current packing situation. So this bag here is everything that I need my mom to fix. This is the Revlon hair dryer I told you guys about. It didn't work well for me, but I have a feeling my mom is going to really love it. So I'm going to give that to her. These are packing cubes. Guys, if you don't have packing cubes when you're traveling, you're honestly missing out because this like condenses your wardrobe into the most organized and like tiniest space. I've also prepared like full bottle items for my own arrival. Just kidding. I'm also going to share it with my mom, but this was her mother's day gift. I bought it at Sephora and I accidentally shipped it to my own house. Like that was really stupid. If you guys saw my latest Instagram post, um, I kept on saying I wanted to try this. So I'm going to try this with my mom. The reason why I want to try it with her is because this is actually for, wait, why did I think it was anti-aging? Okay. Maybe this is for brightening. 
Never mind. I thought this was anti-aging. That's why I like specifically wanted to try it with her. But this one is um, kind of like anti-aging. So I'm going to try this with her. But these are the stuff that's going to be like on my makeup counter when I'm back home. Whereas all the travel stuff that you just saw earlier, those are going to be mini overnight trips. Like if we go to Whistler or whatever, I just wanted to also have my travel pack. But this is going to be mainly to stay at home. And then um, probably I'll just like leave it there. So the next time I'm in Vancouver, I probably won't have to bring stuff back but once again i don't know how long i'm gonna be in vancouver for so maybe it'll just be there forever the plan for later today i have one last dinner with the girls but because i'm doing intermittent fasting this is like the one sacrifice that i've been making because my timeline for intermittent fasting is like 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., which I know is actually very hard, but it's only been easier because of quarantine and because like for a long time, people weren't like even hanging out with each other. So for me, like I've stuck with the 10 to 6, but the only thing is that I obviously can't eat after 6 p.m. and the dinner is at 7. So usually what I do is I'll just like drink a little bit of alcohol. Technically, it's not even allowed. For me, I think I'm just a little bit more flexible on the rules now. As long as I'm not consuming solid food, I'm fine. And sometimes I actually do. It's not like a very very strict everyday thing like I definitely do pick my days so today I don't know maybe I'll end up eating I'll let you know because I will take you guys with me these are my girls from Ivy they were all in my section um I guess except for Lindsay but her husband or her future husband or her fiance I was like why did I take so long to think about it? her fiance was in our section so that's how we met Lindsay but yeah she was in our section and it's basically our last dinner before I leave and we're actually also missing one person Adrian is in Vancouver right now and it's so unfortunate because we're swapping the minute I get to Vancouver she's coming here so it's like and they're also going on like a cottage trip as well, which I'm gonna be missing out on because I won't be there because they only recently started coming back to Toronto. A lot of them were in their hometown, downtown. This is actually my first time seeing a lot of them in like all of quarantine, like ever since maybe January or February. Okay, we are currently at dinner. Say hi, everybody. This is going on this week's vlog. So everyone is eating pasta and it looks great and it smells great, but I'm still doing intermittent okay, fasting. <laughs> so I am just sitting here drinking my beer. I'm waiting for my second beer, but yeah. We're currently on Queen Street at What's this restaurant? Bueno. There we go. Once <laughs> again. I know. Okay, so we have agreed that we are gonna go to Hawaii in November it's latest. Happening. Oh no. So. <laughs> oh shit, guys! It's, it's literally on the camera. We can't back out now. If we back out, it'll be really embarrassing. <laughs> hey guys, happy Friday. This is such a weird angle. Okay, happy Friday. Um. Oh my God. Today is the day of my flight. In fact, it's 12 p.m. right now. I just got off work and. I have a flight at 3 p.m. Um, which is literally in three hours and I am still not done packing. Guys, why am I like this? Please, dear God, hopefully I make this flight. I also didn't mention yesterday, it was a very packed day. I had dinner with the girls as you guys saw last night. It's so funny because at dinner, we all made a pack to go to Hawaii, even if we were to like work from home. But for some reason, we thought we would be working from home at like 3 p.m. But in reality, it would be 3 a.m. So now we're like, hey, never mind, probably not gonna go. And yeah, what else do I need to update you guys on? Oh yeah, today's flight, I am actually taking it with Winnie and her boyfriend so if you guys um, don't follow her like I will leave her handle down below as well she's also from Vancouver we met on Instagram and she was telling me how she was going back to Vancouver and I'm like okay same we booked our tickets separately and we found out it was on the same day but it was at a different time and me being the clingy person that I am and literally have no boundaries I was just like um, do you mind if I tag along to your flight and Winnie's like sure so I called up Air Canada and I'm like put me on this flight so yeah I like switched over over to her flight and part of the reason why I was making the switch is because if you guys didn't already know the flights now are like packed obviously like if nobody books then it'll be empty but like they'll pretty much fill up the seats now as long as the tickets are booked we also got an email yesterday saying that the flight will be packed so I'm so nervous but that's pretty much the reason why I wanted to fly with Winnie because at least that way the person directly beside me I'll know and like her boyfriend is also coming as well so it will just be me if third wheeling this entire four to five hour flight. Also, I went shopping at Aritzia and they gave me this 
mask, which is so good because if you guys can see, it's like there's like this thing in the front. So like this mask doesn't actually make me feel like I can't breathe. They told me that this one lasts up to a week. So basically this is gonna be my in-flight mask today because all the blue ones that I have, they press against my face and that's what makes me super uncomfortable and just like, can't breathe um so this one's really good if you guys go to aritzia i highly recommend getting a mask that's pretty much it um like i said i don't want to be talking too too much because girl needs to get packing um i'm literally so nervous guys like i actually don't know if i'm gonna make the timeline like they're gonna come get me at 3 p.m so i'm just putting on my glasses they're coming to get me at 3 p.m and yeah i gotta go Hey guys, so we are finally on our flight. It's supposed, can you guys even hear me? Whatever. It's supposed to be a full flight, but who knows? Also, if I'm sweating and you can see through the screen, I'm sorry, it's so hot and we've been rushing and moving shit and lifting shit and literally my butt crack is like so sweaty. Well, actually every part, but like, especially that part. <laughs> okay, this is the flight so far. It's kind of empty for now. Um, and I'm here with Winnie and Pat. Say hi. Hello. I am a major third wheeling, guys. Like, major. And Winnie also got us face shields. I don't know if we're going to put it on yet. I feel like I have glasses right now. I'm like... Oh, yeah. You've got that eye protection. Yeah, I thought about it and I was like, might as well just put on my glasses yeah. for eye protection. Okay. We finally yay okay we're just waiting for our luggages now right here anytime now and then food thank god okay i finally just got outside and i took off my mask i have not breathed fresh air in so freaking long but i'm finally outside and there's not really that many people around me so i am taking off my mask i'm just currently waiting for eric to show up and then oh i actually think i see him I feel like he's that white Tesla that is coming this way. Let's see if it's him. I'm pretty sure it is. Yup, it's him. I'm dead. Ah! Oh my god, all three of them are here. Yay! Hi! <laughs> Yay! Hi! Say hi guys! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Okay, so I put my mask back on. I had that five seconds of like good breather time, but um, just cause I don't want to endanger my friends. It's like, come pick me up, get sick. I'm just kidding. Um, what is happening? Oh, there we go. Okay, so what's the sitch guys? We're going to Fresh? Mm -hmm. I have never been there. Might have. We have, we went together. Two orders of salmon and sashimi. We are getting takeout. Okay, so two orders of salmon sashimi. What else do you want? Chopped scallop. This is actually also Nat's like day one or day two of being out because she just finished quarantining on Monday, right? Yeah. 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 So this is a real exciting day for all of us. Yay! Did you guys know you can eat inside in Vancouver? Whoa, I'm like entering a new world. Look at that. Wow. Also, what is this restaurant? Why is it so nice? They're really Why is it so fancy? Why did I say fancy? I think they have like the best Peking duck. Should we just go there? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. This is so classic, guys, that it's raining. Okay, so we are currently at Eric and Jess's and we ordered our sushi, but it's gonna take an hour. We only have like a few minutes left. So we are playing some Jackbox TV. Also, Eric and Jess have the best TV ever. It's so clear, like Jesus. I'm so tired and so hungry. I'm like about to eat them. <laughs> Who should I eat first? I'm just kidding. Hello? <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, we have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> okay, bye. Our dinner is here. I'm so excited. <laughs> we overbought as <laughs> usual. Whoa. I feel like we should never order when we're hungry because this is what ends up happening, guys. 
What do we have here? Okay. We have tempura. We have hamachi sashimi. Salmon sashimi. Don't know what that is, but it looks amazing. Chopped scallop. And then we also have a party tray. This look, is all for four people. Look how many sauce cups they gave us. Wow. <laughs> they assume, oh my god, they assume that there's probably a party of ten. And there's really just four people. Hi, good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, and it is the first day that I am in Vancouver. I'm just gonna be doing my skincare routine really quickly while I'm on here with you guys. But basically, today is my first day in Vancouver, and I actually didn't make any plans. Unfortunately, it's also gloomy. Like, this is so classic. I actually got messages from people um, when I landed saying that it was sunny all up until I arrived. I'm just like, yes, I know. I am a curse. I don't know why I packed so many shorts. So what was I thinking? Anyway, as I said, today I don't have any plans and I feel like I actually intended on that to happen because I think that today I need to really set up everything for Vancouver. Like I said, I didn't really book a return trip, so I don't really know how long I'm going to be here for, but it is really important to me to get everything sort of set up. So I really want to unpack everything and I also want to set up everything nicely like in my bathroom and stuff like that. This is my bathroom that I'm going to be using for the rest of the time I'm here and my parents are not going to be using it at least not for the first little while just because I am still trying to maintain some sort of distance from them because well not only like did I come from Toronto and I was like seeing people there but like mostly because I was on my flight and as you guys saw from the footage yesterday the flight was about 80 to 90 percent at capacity so I'm just really nervous so I'm just kind of staying away from my parents they are actually not even here right now because they're literally so cute they take a class every Saturday Saturday morning together so they already left by the time I woke up so they're not even here and I'm in charge of my own breakfast to be honest I feel really motivated and really productive right now so I don't want to waste that and like use it on cooking so I also noticed that there was like an uber eats promo going on why can't I open this 30% off so I'm just gonna order that and I'm actually just gonna like tell my parents if they want to eat dinner like we'll also order that for dinner because the promo expires tomorrow so I thought I would just like get them something while eating kind of far apart probably. Oh my God, I can't even use this because I can't even open this. This is like one of the reasons why I hate living alone. Not like I'm living alone right now, but I'm just like, when I can't open something, I'm like, hello, who's gonna help me? Yes, I got it open. Okay, so as I was saying, Today, I'm going to be setting up my room, unpacking, and guys, I actually think I might decorate my room. So to give you a little bit of background, ironically, they moved a couple times after I graduated from high school and have already moved out of the house. We moved to a place in Coquitlam before and we were like living right across the lake and it was really nice because like we would go on long walks and picnics and stuff like that. Ever since they moved, I just kind of like stopped bothering like decorating my room besides my childhood room, which I did all before high school. But now I just kind of don't bother because every time I visit, it's usually for one or two weeks. So it just didn't ever seem worth it. But now, I don't know, I have the motivation again and I also have more money now, whereas before I was like so much in debt. But now I can actually spend some money on decorating so I might do that I might help them decorate too ever since I started doing my own place I've just been so motivated and into interior designing so I think I might do something new to my room and maybe the living room and stuff um, but I will update you because I don't know depending on how much everything's gonna be I'm gonna debate on whether or not I'm gonna spend on it because if it's gonna be expensive I might as well spend it on traveling or like a new purse you know okay guys so I ended up um, doing my makeup and spontaneously decided to just go to Ikea today I am picking up Jess and she's gonna come with me to Ikea um, we're gonna go to the Richmond location because apparently it's bigger we're probably also gonna get bubble tea on the way and I really have to pee so I definitely need to look for a place okay so I'm with Jess hello Hi. okay so we are currently at Dragon Ball um, we're getting bubble tea it's honestly one of the OG places right like even before cha time and all these like other places came along um, so yeah I'm very excited I actually have never tried it so I'm gonna try it for the first time today okay so we are back in the car and we got our bubble tea so we got the what is this mango milk the mango milk and the red bean slush oh my god I have not had red bean in so long because I feel like it's not really in like cha time or anything right or it's like it's not a slush. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These ones, the ones that are like not the chain ones are so much better. So I'm very excited. 
Okay, I'm gonna sip. Oh my god, it's so I good. I know, right? It's what? so creamy. And the pearls are like the right consistency. It's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am just finished up at Ikea. Of course, she starts talking when I start talking. Yes, yes. They're saying keep a safe distance, but you don't have to wear your mask in Ikea, so I don't get it. Um, anyway, so I got a few things. I got a mirror for the bedroom, two nightstands, and one clothing rack, and just like some miscellaneous things over there. Um, like I said, I want to redo my room, but um, I didn't want to spend like that much on it. I did have much more of a budget this time. Okay, so the last stop of the day, we are currently at Ernest, but there is a long ass line. Let me just show you guys. Oh my god. Every time there is a long line. Wait, are you getting some, um, are you getting a coffee? No. Okay. Can you get pint? Yeah, same. I'm getting a pint as well because it is past my eating time, but I still want ice cream. So this is the only compromise. Okay guys, happy Sunday. Um, today I am going out again and it's so funny. So far I've seen the same three people over and over again. So I am picking up Natalie. Like I told you guys yesterday, I want to get my bag today. So I've already put the bag on hold. Um, and yeah, so hopefully I am able to purchase my bag today. And I also have to make some other returns. Like, I don't know why one of the tops I got from Aritzia, I did like a really quick haul on my stories the other day. Um, of what I got but I want to return one of the tops um, because I don't know why it looked just so good on me in stores but um, I tried it on again and I was gonna wear it today but I was like oh my god it actually doesn't even look that good and then the black shorts just like wasn't loving it but I kept the blue denim one which I'm actually wearing today so Michael Kors also sent me a watch and it's so pretty um, I think I'm gonna wear it today but the thing is it's too big oh my god but it's a little too big so I think I'm actually gonna go and um, get them to adjust it so I can start wearing it today it's so obnoxious and I absolutely love it but anyway I will um, check in with you guys once I pick up Nat um, right now I'm in Burnaby and this is actually where I grew up um, so I'm in like the Brentwood area but oh my god this place has thrived like whoa okay guys I have picked up Nat and um, we are on our way to full rent through because we are getting my bag um oh okay it's funny because i've lived here all my life and i still don't know my way around oh wait actually do you know where we are now jaffa dog i love jaffa dog okay guys this you need to go here <laughs> okay so we're currently at prada and i was gonna get the nylon but the leather one has the gold hardware so i don't know why i might get this one instead Wait, but you said it's on a gold person, right? Damn it. Okay. Can you order another one? Okay. <laughs> we are currently at Jess and Eric's and we are having a little barbecue. Say hi, guys. <laughs> Guys, you know this part always comes. I don't know why you're acting surprised. She's literally cute. This, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is made by Eric. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it's so good.